Donald Trump. He's the first convicted criminal to win a US presidential election. But what happens to the legal cases against him now? For much of this year, Trump has been facing four prosecutions. He was accused of mishandling classified documents found at his Mar-a-Lago property in Florida, seeking to overturn the result of the 2020 presidential election. Then there's a state case in Georgia over alleged interference in that vote. That's been delayed pending an investigation into the district attorney who's brought the case. Then there was the conviction in New York of falsifying business records linked to the hush money payments to porn star Stormy Daniels. Trump is due to be sentenced in that case later this month, but he's appealing. A Supreme Court ruling could play into his case for appeal. A sitting president enjoys an immunity from prosecution for official acts. Trump is also appealing against several civil lawsuits, totaling more than $500 million. They probably won't be affected by his election win. There's a business fraud case in New York State, and cases brought by the writer E. Jean Carroll. Trump was found liable for sexually assaulting her in the 1990s and defaming her while he was president the first time. Donald Trump pleaded not guilty in the criminal cases against him. He said they were politically motivated. As president, he has the power to appoint a new attorney general. Technically, he or she could dismiss the federal cases against him. What's more, the Republican Party has taken back control of the Senate, where the appointment would be approved, leaving the Democrats powerless to veto it. Justice Department officials have begun the process of winding down the federal criminal cases against Donald Trump before he takes office. In a legal filing to stay the deadlines, Jack Smith, the special counsel, references unprecedented circumstance. That's in line with policy that a sitting president cannot be prosecuted. Donald Trump's legal strategy of delay, delay, delay has clearly paid off. No longer is it the process of justice as we recognize it. It's more complicated than that.